Hello, ninth graders. Hello, Vikings. My name is Ken Miller, and I'm your principal here at Lansdowne High School. You know, you're also known as the class of 2024. That's right. The year 2024 will be the year you graduate high school. What? It's not even your first day, and here I am talking about graduation four years from now. But I have to. We have to stay focused on you graduating. That's our whole priority. And it needs to be yours. High school flies by, trust me. High school is an amazing place. We're gonna give you every opportunity here at Land's End High School. Opportunity in academics and athletics, performing arts, social events, clubs, you name it. It can be the time of your life as you become a successful student. We've got a ton of students come through high school here at Lansdowne and be successful. They went off to college, into trade, trade schools, joined the military. They started just like you, a ninth grader, probably very nervous for their first day, but they did it and so can you. The greatest thing about being a ninth grader is you get a fresh start. It doesn't matter what you did or who you were in middle school. In ninth grade, it's completely new beginning. So make the best of it. High school is very different than middle school. You have a lot of freedom. What you do with that freedom is up to you. Everything counts. It matters. You're going to learn about GPAs, credits, a transcript. They're very important items that's going to be part of your high school experience. It starts day one as a ninth grader and ends your last day as a 12th grader. Unfortunately, you're starting your high school career in this virtual world. Yeah, I know, it's not what we wanted, but we have to make the best of it. You're gonna be held accountable. And that's how I run Lansdowne High School. I hold you accountable like you're in a job or you're in a college. You're gonna be expected to attend class. You're gonna be expected to submit work. If you have any problems, you need to reach out. Our staff is here for you. Please reach out to a teacher, reach out to the counselor, reach out to one of the administrators. Mr. McWilliams is your ninth grade assistant principal, but I also have Ms. Smith and Ms. Gadadasar. They're the APs for 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. You can also reach out to me, but please reach out if you're having some difficulty. Our job is to help you be successful. In the beginning, I said something about a Viking. You're a Viking, and that's what we are here at Lansdowne High School. Like, there's something I say called Viking pride. That's doing your best, being your best. So I wanna wish you the best of luck. Congratulations on being a Viking, and go Viking pride. Hey, welcome Vikings, class of 2024. I'm Ms. McWilliams, your freshman administrator. It's so good to finally meet you guys. Wait, what? You can't see me. Oh, wait a minute, let me turn my camera on. There you go. That's much better, much better. That's funny because that's actually something I wanted to talk to you guys about. You need to turn your camera on when you log into Google Meets. Your teacher wants to put a face with the name. So when you log in, please mute your microphone, turn your camera on. Um, actually, I want to talk to you guys about a few other Google Meet etiquette tips. Let's see here. We just talked about muting my, your microphone. We talked about turning your camera on. But if you have a question, what do you do? You can type your question in the chat on the side, or you can wait your turn for the teacher to call on you. Once it's your turn, then you may unmute your microphone and ask a question or participate. You want to stay attentive. You want to pay attention. Let the teacher know you're paying attention. Let other students know you're paying attention when they're speaking. You can do this in many ways. Nod your head, shake your head. Um, give them a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you disagree with what they're saying. Let them know what you're, that you're paying attention. Participate in the chat and turn your microphone on when asked. Some other do's and don'ts. Do wear appropriate clothing. Nobody wants to see you in your PJs all day long. We do want to keep your video on. We do want to mute your microphone. We do want to pay attention. 
we do want to sit your laptop where the camera can see you. Nobody wants to see your ceiling fan spinning around and around. So also a big do is use appropriate language at all times, okay? Nobody needs to hear inappropriate language. Some of the don'ts we already discussed about as well. Don't share your screen unless you're asked to by your teacher. Um, don't talk when someone else is talking, please, or don't chat in the background. Um, keep your microphone muted, like, as we discussed. And don't use emojis unless your teacher allows you to. And the biggest don't, we already discussed, do not use inappropriate language. You will be removed from class. So be professional, be respectful at all times. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is attendance. Attendance is extremely important. This is going to look a lot different from the spring, guys. You're going to be required to attend every class every single day, as well as turn in all your work. Baltimore County says 94% attendance is acceptable. That's less than four days per quarter. That's not many days absent. Teachers are going to be taking attendance in the beginning of class and the end of every class. So look, even if you sign in late, Better to be late than never, so that, that way you get marked present. So make sure you attend every class every day. If you're absent for more than two days in a row, teacher's going to be calling home looking for you. If you're absent often, administration, myself, or PPWs are going to be calling or visiting your house looking for you. Um, if you do have to be absent, it's okay. But make sure your teacher is aware and make sure you get your makeup work. You are still responsible for turning in all of your assignments. Well, look, that's all I wanted to discuss at this time. I'm looking forward to meeting every one of you very soon. I'm going to be popping in and out of your classes throughout the year to get to know you guys a little bit better. So please make sure you log in to your scheduled classes every single day. Put in the work that's needed to be a successful Viking. You got this, guys. Hi everyone, my name is Ms. Sarah Heldman and I'm the ninth grade school counselor. I'm going to take a few moments to discuss with you this school year schedule as well as how to read your own schedule. So this school year schedule is set up like a semester. So much like college, we're going to have four classes for marking periods one and two, take final exams the end of January, so the end of marking period two, and then February 1st we'll start with a whole new set of classes. So just like our semesters, or our school days might be a little different. Our bell schedule is also different. So normally when we're in the building, we would start at 7.30. This year, we are going to start at 8 o'clock. So if you can see after I share my screen with you, here's our bell schedule. This is also posted in Schoology. So period one is from 8 to 8.50, period two, 9 to 9.50, and so on and so forth. It gives you a little break between classes. That way you can go get something to eat. Maybe you need a drink or maybe you need, need to use the restroom. Um, you'll have meet face-to-face -face virtually Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Wednesdays are reserved for, you know, meeting one-on-one -on -one with staff members or in small groups for studying and completing work. If you're much like myself, I'm a very visual learner. So I like to have things kind of that are tactile or things I can look at. So I've made a virtual scheduling sheet for you guys to use. As you can see, I've shared it with my screen again. Um, and it's much like the bell schedule that I just showed you. I just tweaked it a little bit. And this is in the class of 2024 Schoology group that you've all already been invited to. And this is in the resources page. So it has an empty spot so you can put in your classes um, so you can individualize it. Or maybe you would like something more that's linked to technology. Maybe you put alarms in your phone with your class names and times, or maybe you just like to write it down and see it. Um, maybe you just like to write things down, maybe you like to doodle and make it look pretty, or interesting, something that fits your style. Um, whatever works best for you is, of course, going to work best for you, but just to make sure you have a schedule that's at your access, um, or that you can kind of just see every day, just so you don't miss a class. Um, so, reading your class. So reading your courses in Schoology. So you're going to see in Schoology at the top left-hand side, there's going to say courses, and that's where you see your classes. But you might not understand what's next to them. So it has a class name, so for example, English 9. But next to it, it says PER 1A. What does that mean? So if I'm reading my schedule and I see English 9 per, so period, 
and the number one. That means I have English nine period one. But Ms. Heldman, what does the A and the B mean? So A and B means our semesters. So A is going to be associated with semester one, and B is going to be associated with semester two. So if my schedule reads English nine period one A, I know that I have English nine first period first semester. You would follow it the same way for the rest of your classes for first semester. So say it says I have physical education period 2A. I know I have physical education period 1 semester 1. And you would continue that for the whole school year. Um, and if you have any continued questions or concerns, you can always reach out to me, Ms. Heldman, your school counselor. So now I'm going to take a few moments to talk to you about where to get help. So first let's talk about academic help. So earlier in my videos, I asked out to the crowd to help me with a math problem. Because it's okay to ask for help. I am not a math teacher. I'm not a Spanish teacher, science, whatever it may be. Um, I'm a school counselor. Though I would love to be able to help every single one of you with all of your academic needs, I'm not the perfect person. You know who is the perfect person to ask about your school concerns, your class concerns? Your teacher. Because you know what? They are in the content area and they studied that content area for a very long time in order to come to the building and to then teach you what they're most excited for. So whether it might may be Miss Liney in math or Miss Grace in Spanish or maybe it's Mr. Stano in English, they're going to be the best people to speak to you regarding your classes. So whoever your staff member might be that you might be having a concern in the class, school G message them, reach them during their office hours, or schedule a one-on-one -on -one or join one of their small group meetings on Wednesdays. That's the best place to get academic help. Now, if you have concerns about like, Ms. Heldman, how can I calculate my GPA? Or I think I passed this class already. Can you check? You can always message me, Ms. Heldman, your ninth grade school counselor, to make sure to clarify and I'll be more than happy to help you. So we're gonna talk about some food and lunch services. Lunch is still gonna be provided throughout the school year. So if you picked up lunches at a school last year, you would do the same thing. Our lunch time is from 11 to noon. Um, make sure you head over there to get your lunches, or maybe you just eat lunch at home, and that's perfectly fine. Um, but if you're in need of food resources, information on the schools where lunches will be provided will be posted in Schoology Resources, as well as any updated information we may get on food pantries. So in addition to the awesome staff that we have here at Lansdowne High School, we also have the Student Support Services team. So it's comprised of myself, Ms. Sarah Heldman, Ms. Angela Montague, the ESOL counselor, Ms. Julie Cabanis, another school counselor, Ms. Jen Stefanowski, another school counselor, and Mr. Greg Johnson, school counselor. We also have Ms. Amy Pieri, who is the college and career counselor, and then Ms. Louise Lohr, who is a social worker, as well as Ms. Jill Savage. As a team, we will work together and we will have office hours every day in order to help you whatever you may need, whether it be um, social, emotional, academic, college and career questions. Now that's during school hours. So what happens when we're outside of school hours? So for food sites, again, like I said, we would be able to post them on Schoology. That way you and your family, if you were to need them, can utilize them. Um, in the appropriate manner and contact them with time because we'll post contact information on how to get a hold of them. Now let's talk about some mental health and safety concerns. During the school day, if you're hey, feeling anxious about school or you're looking for us to provide you some community or family mental health services or you need help navigating another house concern, please reach out to us either during our Google Meet or during a messenger during school hours. We can only be reached during school hours. And I really want to hit home with that because we can't be with you 24 seven. You know, we can't be able that fly on the wall or we're not there at a phone call in order for you to reach us. So I also want to give you resources in order for you to help yourself or someone else outside of school hours. So resources like how to calculate your GPA and food resources, of course, like I said, are in the class of 2024 resources. However, and if you're in imminent danger, so if you or someone else is in imminent danger, so whether you are wanting to hurt yourself, someone else or someone's hurting you, or if you know a friend that's looking to, that's trying to harm themselves, someone else, 
or someone is hurting them, please always tell an adult and have them dial 911. Unfortunately, like I said, we're not able to provide those services to you at that time outside of school hours, but we would definitely like to talk to you afterwards and make us aware of what had happened. That way we can help serve you and provide you and your family with any additional resources that might be helpful during this time. You know, the school year is different from others. We're virtual again. We're, you know, in classes for a little longer a time. You might have younger siblings that you also have to set up, and we totally understand that. But just because it's different, does not can't mean we can't have an awesome school year together. Your teachers, as well as your other school staff, such as your school counselors, social workers, instructional aides, cafeteria staff, administrators, we all want to have a great school year with you. So please don't hesitate to reach out to myself, Ms. Haldeman, our staff members, Ms. Montague, the ESOL school counselor, about specific class questions. We just want to say, hey, whatever you do, let's have a great school year, and I look forward to meeting every single one of you in Google Meet. Welcome to Lansdowne High School. I'm Mrs. Montague, and I'm the school counselor for our students who are part of the ESOL program. We want you to be successful in all your classes and to help you learn English. As an English language learner, you will work closely with me and with Ms. Lalia, the department chair, and the other ESOL teachers to be sure that you have what you need to be successful you can reach me and Ms. Lalia and all of your teachers through Schoology anytime. Please contact us with any questions that you may have. And as your school counselor, I am always willing to talk with you about anything that concerns you. We look forward to meeting all of you and to supporting your success at Lansdowne High School. Oh, hi, I'm Mrs. Joe Walter. You might know me from such popular hits as my hilarious TikToks or from working at LHS for 18 years and maybe teaching your parents. If you see the code EFF on your schedule, you have either me or Mrs. Blue for Freshman Foundations. Hi, I'm Ms. Blue. I'm your other Freshman Foundation teacher. If you don't see EFF on your schedule this semester, you have it next semester with either myself or Mrs. Blue. Oh, you got me at a bad time. I'm going to talk to you about procedures for messaging your teachers. A year ago, you could have stopped by a teacher's class or coach class or tutoring, um, maybe ask a question in person, but today we have to message virtually. So I'm going to talk to you about messaging through Schoology. The benefits of using Schoology First of all, it's a platform your teachers are using all day. Also, Schoology messaging ensures that you're messaging the right person. If you know your teacher's email, you can always use that, but messaging on Schoology is probably the best way to go. If you open up your course on Schoology, you can message your teacher right from that screen. We'll go into a little more detail on what that looks like a little bit later. If you know your teacher's email, you can use that. If you know your counselor's email, you can use that as well. Your message should include five parts. Start with a polite greeting like, good morning. Then introduce yourself. This is especially important if it's the first time that you've messaged your teacher or if it's really early in the school year. It gives your teacher a chance to get to know you and it also lets your teacher know a preferred name or a nickname that you prefer to go by. Briefly explain your problem or your concern, one or two sentences. If it's going to be longer than that, you might wanna meet up for office hours with your teacher. Next, offer a reasonable solution if you can think of one. <clears throat> maybe there's an alternative activity you can do to bring up your grade, or maybe you need more directions on how to access the assignment. Conclude your message with an appreciation of your time. Of course, it's your teacher's job to help you and we love doing it, but it's much easier to work with pleasant people. Let me give you an example of a scenario and the messages I received in return. Here are two messages I received 
from students after an assignment. Take a moment and look at both of these messages. Try to determine which one is appropriate and which one needs a little bit of work. Take a moment and think about it. Of course, the second message is better. I know who sent the message, Jackie Taylor. Maybe her name shows up to me as Jacqueline, but I know she prefers Jackie because that's what she wrote for me. She also told me exactly what her concern was. She's missing an assignment and she needs help finding it, finding the location for it, redoing it. Um, it also tells me in a pleasant way, is there another assignment I can do? This is a good way to communicate with your teachers so they know exactly what your concern is. And also my, um, my students have a way to communicate with me pleasantly in just a couple sentences. Finally, she concludes with, thank you. I like to know that she appreciates the work that I'm doing. So you've maybe heard an old saying, you catch more flies with honey than vinegar. I don't know who wants to catch flies, but it makes sense. You're going to get a better reaction and probably a quicker response if you ask a question in a pleasant way. If you're trying to reach a staff member who you can't find on Schoology, or um, maybe you don't have a class with that teacher, but you wanna ask them a question anyway, maybe they run a club or a sport or an activity that you're interested in, you can go to Lansdowne High School. That's lansdownehs.bcps.org. This is our school website. Go to staff directory and choose the first link. If you'd like to practice sending Schoology messages, feel free to send a message to me, Mrs. Blue, or Ms. Heldman. We'd love to hear from you. Welcome to Lansdowne High School. You are now an official Viking. My name is Ms. Ellis, and I'm also a graduate of the class of 1984. I am the Physical Education and Technology Department Chair. My office is in the gymnasium. I primarily work with ninth graders with your transition into high school. I will be monitoring your grades and attendance throughout the year. I am a person you can reach out to for help with any situation or concern you have. You can join my class Google Meet or email me through your Schoology account. The first thing I want to stress is the importance of joining your 2024 class Schoology group. All updates and information you need will be posted there. Let's discuss grades. Your grades for college and career readiness begin now. It is important that you check your grades every day for missing assignments or low scores. Missing assignments count as zeros and will kill your grades. Being academically successful affects your eligibility in clubs, sports, activities, scholarships, and college opportunities. Your total quarter grade will be based on two categories. Minors are worth 67% and major assignments are worth 33%. You will have the opportunity to redo a minor score one time to improve any low scores. Majors are not redoable, so always take your time and do your best on this only attempt. Your attendance is vital and required for you to be successful throughout high school. If you miss a class, it will affect your grade accordingly. Always keep in touch with your teachers at your Google Meets and email. Communicating with your teachers will ensure that you both understand your grades. Finally, I want to discuss how to remain eligible to participate in sports, clubs, and activities. You must maintain a 2.0 grade point average with no more than one E. This GPA is determined by your quarter final grades. We are all hoping to re-enter the building for the second semester. Your second quarter grades will determine your spring eligibility Again, welcome to Lansdowne and congratulations on becoming a Viking. 
please don't hesitate to reach out to me for help with any issue. Bye. We hope to see you soon. Hello, Vikings, and welcome to Lansdowne High School, home of the Vikings. My name is Mr. Hawkins, and I am the proud athletic director here at Lansdowne High School. I wanted to take this opportunity to speak to you about our athletic program here at Lansdowne. We offer every level of every sport JV and vars varsity offered by Baltimore County Public Schools. We are one of four schools that can say that out of 24 in our system, and we are very proud of that. On the screen, you'll see listed sports in the fall, winter, and spring. Athletics this year will look a little different, as we will start with a virtual coaching model. Fall sports will sign up, and you will be in a team with virtual coaching online similar to school and your coach will go over how that will work when you sign into the first day after the virtual coaching model we do the three seasons we'll move into a three season competitive phase the dates listed there may vary it should start on february 1st when we return to school as long as everything goes as planned we will have three mini seasons in person we are not positive what that'll look like yet that is far away, we're just hoping to get back. This is the model in how BCPS sees athletics reimagined this year. What will definitely happen is starting on Feb September 8th, the fall season for virtual coaching will begin. Now, what do you need to do in order to be on, participate on a team? Everyone is eligible to participate in our virtual coaching model. You must sign up on Form Relief. On the screen, you'll see the website, formrelief.com, search Lansdowne High School. You'll sign up for an account if you don't have one, and then you'll register your student for the sport that they would like to participate in in the fall. If you've already logged in, you should already have a login, and you can continue with a new student under that same login. The good news is once you sign, make an account, it will stay there and you won't have to make a new one each year or each season. Your student athlete will also need a physical form filled out, a current physical within a calendar year. I will need a copy of that. You may email it or drop it off in the front office from 9 to 1, Monday through Friday. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to email me or call my office as the office messages will go to my email. Thank you so much for your time. I look forward to a great 2021 school year. Go Vikings.